Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens of Once Upon a Game, and today we're going to take a look at what's inside the 51st State Complete Master Set uh, by Ignacy Trevicek. This is the uh, the uh, re-released um, edition of uh, 51st State uh, I think Winter and New Era. It's got some of the, some of all that combined. I had the original. Uh, it's set in the um, uh, what's that universe called? Uh, Nir Niroshima Hex uh, universe, and uh, I had the first one, uh, just the just the base game that came out with a solo variant for it that I, I found was pretty entertaining, uh, and then this one also will play solo, has some special solo rules you can download, I believe, um, but combine some of the stuff, like Winter uh, was extremely hard to find um, anymore, so uh, you could find it, it was very expensive, so um, this one includes some of those elements. It is a nice little box. This plays one to four, 16 to 90 minutes. Um, we're going to go through it, and you can actually go to Watch It Played. You don't need to read the rule book. You can just go watch it played and learn how to play it. So that's kind of cool. So uh, 51st State uh, was the original. Uh, then Imperial Settlers came along and used the mechanics, improved upon the mechanics from the original 51st State, uh, and that was a big success. Um, I didn't particularly care for the theme of that one, so I never, I never went for it. I just kept the other. Um, but then this took, took it back, as it were, back to uh, where it belonged and is now uh, in 51st State. So uh, we're going to crack it. Includes a single player variant. Perfect. As all games should. I'm just kidding. Not all games should do that. You don't want to play code names by yourself. Or, uh, or uh, letters from Whitechapel by yourself. Where am I moving? I don't know. I'm moving somewhere. All right. There we go. Got it. Got the plastic firmly stowed there in my pocket. And now we're going to open it up. And see what's inside. We're going to try and open it up. See what's inside. All right, this is the retail version too. I did not kickstart this, or or they don't do, didn't do a kickstarter. They did a pre-order. So, open in case of emergency. Well, that is interesting. Oh, that's just being cute. They're just being cute. Obviously, that's going to be the. It's going to be right into the camera. It's three D. No, I think it is. Yeah, it's just a bunch of boards. We're gonna pull those out. Let's see what we got inside here. I guess I'll cut the tabs. Cute little clear dots. Should I do that? All right. Yes, yes, yes. yes. It's just a bunch of boards. So we have clearly the scoring track, the non scoring track. Kind of thin. Not too thin, but. For, you know, most bunch of points, is kind of thin. It says all your, resource, all your resources tokens. Um, things you use, you earn, you, you produce from the cards, and then you use them to pay to play other cards and locations and so on and so forth. So, got ammo, construction, police. So you spend. All right. So you got one punch board there, and you got this other punch board with your player boards and different tokens. This is the Merchant's Guild. And I believe they're identical on both sides. Uh, yeah, I think they're uh, they're being politically correct. They have they have both genders, so whichever side you want to play is fine. The information's correct, is the same. So that's fine, that's cool. Anything to uh, get more people into the hobby, as it were. So here we have the Appalachian Federation. And that could be boy or girl. I have no idea what that is. Well, that's a girl, so I guess that's the guy. Ugly guy. Mutants Union. Wow. Take your pick. Yeah. New York. Why isn't New York in Mutants Union? Anyway. Um, there you go. Yeah, she's got her little 
not a lightsaber. And so we had an emergency, so we opened the package. It was an emergency. It's a very neat way of doing it to keep them together, though, so they didn't all punch out in the box. So that's just kind of cool, actually. All right, strike one on 51st State. Got a rule summary, got a rule book that is the same size as the box. This is a, this is like a 12 by 12. Let's see, yeah. It's an 11 and a half. Just about 11 and a half by 11 and a half box. And they give me an 11 and a half by 11 and a half rule book. Well, this is the rule summary. So that would actually be okay, even though it's on flimsy paper. All right, but they do give me a 11 and a half by 11 and a half rule book. Big pet peeve, big fail in my opinion, because you got this big thing and you got your game on the table and you have to flip through this and you have no room to set it down, set it off to the side. I mean, some people have to play on small tables, but that was a design choice, a bad design choice. That's fine, but we will look at, the, at what it represents. You got your components overview, it's always good, big and colorful. Examples of play, managing locations, quick overview of cards. It's a good ready reference when you're trying to figure out what's going on. But you know, when you open it up, it's almost two feet by one foot, taking up a lot of table space. And solo, probably okay, because I can have a place to place to put it. But you know, with multiple players, it would be kind of a nuisance. But I guess once you learn the game, you don't need it too much. But anyway, please, 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 please stop making Full box size rule books. You didn't save any paper. You could have made it smaller. Four pages. It would work just as fine. Anyway. So at least that you got a reference here of the cards in detail to go with the rule summary. So maybe you can make that work. All right, there's our gray tokens. Don't you even try to raise me. You've become so-and-so's arch enemy. That's obviously for a multiplayer game. Unless you become your own arch enemy, which, you know, some people do. All right, that's some bags. More bags. And we've got, oh no, this is nice. This is nicely strange. So all this, I am confused. I are confused. I thought the wooden tokens were not, were only in the pre-orders, not in the, um, were not in the uh, retail version. But I got retail markers, or I got uh, wooden markers. So maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I misunderstood. But that was my understanding was that these were not like that. So you got your construction, you got your ammo, with the machinery, I think it is. You got your fuel cans. Very cool. Bonus. Is not that's the way it's supposed to be in your workers. Pretty cool. Awesome. And then you got decks of cards. You got four decks of cards. One thing cool about this game is that the cards can be used in multiple fashions in multiple ways um, to do different things. Uh, they can be locations, they can be uh, the price you pay, um, there can be deals that you strike to, to earn information, I mean to earn uh, spoils, very cool. Um, wow, okay. So these are all game cards. Um, now my understanding is, I don't, okay, so they're marked here, 51st State, okay, and then 51st state. So you got the base games here. So you can start by playing just the base game. And then you've got New Era, a deck of New Era cards, and a deck of Winter cards. So they streamlined it to just the ones you you really need to balance the game. And uh, you insert them as you go. You can play them all at once if you want. Uh, my understanding is, but then again, I was wrong on the wooden tokens. So what do I know? Anyway, so that's what you get. We'll take a look at one of the 51st state cards. Because I'm going to leave the, uh, the other card sleeve for now. Is inside. Cards are very nice. Got a nice round to them. Good artwork, you know, post apocalyptic Mad Maxian kind of artwork, if I can say that. I can say that. They can't say that. 
but I can say whatever I want because I'm just a fan. So, really nice artwork compared to the previous version. This is, ooh, getting excited about another game. So, sit here on the dock of the bay and watch the tide boil away, I guess. No thanks, Quarries. Awesome, 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 awesome. Open production. Cool. All right, I'm going to have to refresh myself on the rules. But basically all the... Oh, Sharsh. Sharsh is in the game. Uh, rat face boy. It's kind of a Metro 32, 2033 uh, feel, you know, as well. That kind of dreary uh, survival kind of game. But it's a fun game. The old one was. I assume the improvements are. People seem to love Imperial Settlers. And look, we have a church. Always good. Always important. Always necessary. All right. So you brick. Get methane gas. Get the guards. So you get some, some weapons. Anyway. All right. So you get two decks of 51st State. You get one deck of Winter, one deck of New Era. Get all these cards. You apparently get wooden tokens. That's in this copy I got. Markers, bags, markers, a rule summary, which I'll tolerate, a rule book, which is way too big, your action boards, there are, in this version there are one, two, three, four, five, six of them I believe. One, two, three, four of them. Is that right? One, two, three. Yeah, four of them. Punch boards of counters off to the side, and a scoring board, and a no scoring board. And that is what is in 51st State. Ah, the complete master set. Thanks for watching.